Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is uh, from EDC book by Mr. Ballstead. And here I'll be solving end chapter problem five and six from chapter number two. And this is about series diode configuration. Now in the questions, uh, it has been asked to use the approximate model. So let me just briefly touch any silicon diode, if it has a voltage across it of 0.7 volt, then the diode will conduct. And so in circuit, we'll replace the diode by a battery of 0.7 volt. But if the voltage across the diode is less than 0.7 volt, then the diode will not conduct and in, we'll replace this symbol with an open circuit in the circuit. Okay, now come to the uh, problem number five. Determine the current in each of the configurations of figure using approximate equivalent model. So these are the three questions that we'll solve one at a time. So the first one is the circuit, and I hope you have learned by now how, how to determine if a diode is conducting or not. But let me just repeat. If the positive terminal of the diode is connected to positive of the battery, then the diode will conduct. Or if the negative terminal of the diode is conducted with the negative of the battery, then also it will conduct. But if it is opposite, like it is here, the positive of the diode is connected with negative of the battery, that means this diode will not conduct. And so, uh, as we have learned that we have to replace it by open circuit. So if it is not conducting, we replace it by an open circuit. And now you can see there is no current flowing in the uh, circuit because of this open. And therefore we can say that the current I will be zero. So I will be zero, so zero could be ampere, milliampere, but generally in the diode circuit, currents are in milliampere range, and that is why it has been written zero milliampere. Then we come to part B of the question. Now you can, first of all, we have to determine about the diode. You can see the negative terminal of the battery is touching the negative of this diode. And similarly, negative terminal is also touching the negative of the second diode. That means both the diodes will conduct. And so we'll have to replace these with the uh, 0 0.74 volt battery. So replacing the diodes with uh, batteries. Now we have to keep in mind the battery uh, connection or the battery polarity. Wherever the, the negative sign is, that is, this is diode negative sign is on the right hand side. And therefore the battery negative will also be on the right hand side. Similarly here, the negative is at the top, therefore this battery negative will also be at the top. Okay, now with this circuit, we have to uh, uh, calculate I, and the simplest way is to solve the two loops. So we write two loop equations. One is for the first loop, we call it IA, and the second is for the outer loop, we call it the current I2. And according to current, we mark the polarity. So this current touch will touch here first. So it will be positive here, negative here. Similarly, the second current will touch here first, therefore positive here and negative here. Okay, now that we have marked, we can now write the equations. First, we'll write equation for loop number one of the right hand loop. So right loop, we can start from any place, but I prefer to start from the left corner. So it's going from this way like this. So it will be plus 20 times I1. So plus 20 times I1. Plus sign is with the battery. So plus 0 0.7. And then minus of this battery. So minus 20 equals to 0. And solving we get I1 to be 0 0.965 ampere. Now same way the second circuit or the outer loop so 10 I2, now the current is I2 here. So I2, 0 0.7 minus 20, and the I2 is 1.93A. 
and now you can see that the current I1 and I2 both are in the direction of current I. And so we we'll simply write I is equal to I1 plus I2. So I is equal to I1 plus I2 and plugging in the value of I1 and I2, the answer is 2.895 ampere. The third circuit, we have to determine uh, whether it is conducting or not. First of all, the positive of this diode is connected to the positive of the battery, therefore this will conduct. But the positive of this diode is not connected to the positive of the battery, rather it is connected to the negative of the battery or ground. Therefore, this diode will not conduct. So we can draw the circuit. The top one is conducting, the bottom one is reversed bias, not conducting. So what is left is the outer circuit. And from here, we can uh, calculate current by KVL method for this loop. So we start from here, minus 10 and plus 10 into I equals zero, and therefore I is one ampere. Now, the second question, question number six, determine V0 and ID for the network. So these are the two uh, questions, part A, B. So let's first talk of part A. Now you can see there's a minus five volt here. I prefer to draw a battery so it becomes easier for me to follow. So let me draw a battery instead of writing five volt here. So I've drawn a battery and the polarity of the battery is such that the negative is at the top. So this is negative five and the battery 5 volt battery negative at the top, so this will be negative 5. And the other side is grounded. And now we, it's easy for us to establish the uh, conductivity of the diode, negative of the battery touching negative of the diode. Okay, negative of the battery is touching the negative of the diode, that means the diode will become forward bias. So we'll replace it with the battery. So replacing this with the battery, and now we uh, assume a current. So current I'm assuming because of the battery positive like this on the anti-clockwise direction. And this current touching here will make it positive. So I have marked the polarity as well. And now we can write the KVL equation. So KVL, we start from here, plus five, plus five, minus seven, uh, point seven, and then minus 2.2 into I, so minus 2.2 into I, and solving, we find I to be 1.955. Now, the question I is asking for ID, now you can see this current I, and ID is in the same direction, therefore, and same value, so ID will be 1.955 milliampere. The next part is to find V0. Now, this is V0. Uh, we can use two methods to find a V0. One is we just take this loop, the outer loop, and the other is we take, can take the inner loop. Or, sorry, we can call this right loop, and this we call this the outer loop. So, to find V0, the right loop, we go from here 22, 2.2 ki. And then coming here is plus V naught. So from here, plugging in the value of I, V naught is minus 4.3. We could have also used this out loop, outer loop, or the left loop. So plus 5, minus 7, and V naught. And from here, V naught is four, minus 4.3. So same answer. Now we come to part B, determine V0 and ID for the network, this question. So here also, now here is uh, 8 volt, it's not visible, and this is minus 6. So we'll connect a battery. So I'm connecting an 8 volt battery, positive touching top, so 8 volt here, and another battery for minus 6. 
negative touching this terminal so negative 6 here and now we'll find the uh, uh, conduction of the diode since so negative is connected to the negative therefore we can say that the diode is conducting and so we replace diode with a 0 0.7 volt battery and now we can follow the KVL method to find current so this is current i we have marked the polarities and the resistance according to the current and so we write KVL from here minus 8 1.2 i 4.7 i plus 0 0.7 and minus 6 from here i is 2.254 and here also our direction of our current i and id same and so we will say that id is 2.54 2.254 milliampere now you have to keep in mind one thing that here we are dividing by kilo 5.9 kilo and that is why the answer will be in milliampere and now same technique to find v uh, naught we can use this right loop we start from here for so 6 minus 7 4.7 into i minus 4.7 into i plus v naught plugging in the value of i solving we get v naught to be 5.3 volt and also using the left loop minus 8 1.2 i is plus v naught and from here also we get v naught is equal to 5.3 so whichever uh, is uh, you feel comfortable with you can follow that technique so i hope uh, you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you